Tahadhari. Nilishindwa hata kusimama. Zebaki jina ambalo sasa limenata masikioni mwa wengi. Ukipenda makuri. Di madini yanayopatikana kama gesi au maji maji. Madini ya Zebaki yakiwa kama mvuke yanaweza kuathiri mazingira, kando na kuathiri binadamu. Bila shaka hii ni taarifa ya kuatua wa moyo. Mekucha jua limeibariki dunia. Mseto wa shughuli hapa. Ndio taswira timbo hili la matanda. Kijiji cha Osiri eneo bunge la Nyatike, kaunti ya Migori. Umri hapa si hoja. Madogo kwa wakubwa. Hata jinsia pia si hoja. Akina mama na baba wote wa mbioni kusakariziki. Wa mama wako hapa wajafahamu kwamba makiri ni mbaya ina kuumiza mtu akitumia bila kuzingatia kilini mwao madhara yanayowakaribisha mwilini na maisha ni mwao kelele hapa zimehinikiza hewani wakitumia mikono yao bila kinga yeyote Kuosha changarawe ili kupata dhahabu. Ndalo tumia kuosha amini usiamini ni madini ya zebaki ya maji maji. Bila kinga maalum kama inavyohitajika, wanayagusa na kuyatumia madini hayo. Hapa ni jambo la kawaida. Kando na kuvuta na kupumua hewa iliyojaa madini ya zebaki yanayoathiri mikono yao kwani hawana hata glovu mikononi Tulitaka kupata ushauri wa daktari Paul Kipton They lose that ability to walk Daktari wa mishipa ya fahamu na mtaalamu wa masuala ya watoto na mazingira na alikuwa na haya ya kusema You may have other organ failures in the acute state Your kidneys can fail Your heart can fail Your liver can fail and other systems can fail your muscles can also fail Badhara mengi ikiwemo kushindwa kupumua uchovu wa mwili na kukosa umakinifu The effects are so severe that to treat the patient uh, in fact doesn't usually lead to recovery Huyu ni beti nyamoita badhara ya zebaki ni dhahiri kwake anapotembea baada ya siku nzima ya kuguza na ku tangamana na madini hayo hatari wakati nilianza kutumia makuri nilianza kutetemeka mwili sikujua ina madhara ameifanya kazi hii kwa muda wa miaka mitatu nilianza kuwa mgonjwa tumba ilikuwa inauma alafu homa nyingine haishangi kama tunachoma hiyo mali huyo sistangu eh homa yake ijai bona nilikuwa na hata singeongea mwaka uliopita hali yake ilizorota zaidi na hata kulazwa hospitalini ambapo ilimbidi kufanyiwa matibabu maalum ili kujaribu kuyatoa madini hayo mwili wake nilishindwa hata kusimama bradangu akanibeba akanipeleka hospitali wakanipima damu wakapata hiyo level ya makiri kwa juu sana kulingana na Griffins Ocheng mtaalamu na mhandisi wa kemikali ambaye katika harakati zake za kufanya uchunguzi wa kina kuhusu matumizi ya madini ya zebaki nyamo italipatikana akiwa na asilimia kubwa ya zebaki mwilini kupita kiwango cha miligramu 21 kwa lita moja being that mercury is a neurotoxin then you begin to have brain uh, heart or nervous system damage uh, then you see that we are having cases of many of the communities there are way above this level and the exposure is quite high okay. so there has to be this has to be addressed katika harakati za kujaribu kuelewa hali yake nyamoita tunakutana na Margaret Ogala 
an gi higni mang'eny moinga mwanamke mwenye umri wa miaka 75 Akiwa amefanya kazi kwenye migodi kwa takriban miaka 15 akitumia zebaki kusafisha dhahabu kutoka kwa changarawe na baada hajawahi kupata ushauri kutoka kwa daktari wake Sani tuoma kama penye ani okayudi okweka kachi edo bata ni okayudi kora ni ogini oromo denda te oroma lakini sheria nchini na mtazamo ipi kuhusu wachimba migodi Kipengele cha 140 ga cha sheria kuchimba migodi ya mwaka 2016 inahimiza kwamba wale wote waliosajiliwa kuchimba migodi wanapaswa kuepuka matumizi ya madini ya aina ya signed na zebaki huenda yakatiliwa maanani. Wizara ya mazingira ikiwa imetoa mwelekeo na mchakato unaohitajika kitaifa japo kuna changamoto. Mazingira vile vile katika eneo la migodi ya maathirika pakubwa kutokana na uyeyushaji wa zebaki hewani rivers and lakes are likely to be polluted fish accumulate these toxins animals and by extension we ourselves eat the fish and this accumulates in our bodies and over time we are actually intoxicated ikiwa hapa ndio nyumbani pekee wanapojua watoto pia wasazwi ili wanapumua hewa iliyojamvuke wa zebaki hali ambayo daktari anasema itawaathiri vibaya ubongo zao the children born to these mothers were exposed to these toxins what is the level of intelligence of these children that are born of these mothers how how are they faring on in school because we know that by extension these children are exposed through the clothing of their mothers through uh, a lot of items that these mothers carry home hata hivyo beti anazidi kuathirika hata zaidi haswa ikizingatiwa kuwa sasa ameamua kutumia zebaki kwa kuchemsha kisha kuosha dhahabu akiwa mtaalamu aliyosomea hisabati beti anapokea mshahara wa takriban shilingi 1030 kila mwezi kutokana na uzaji wa dhahabu hali anayohisi kwamba inamsaidia sana ikizingatiwa kwamba kupata ajira nchini ni kama kupanda mchongoma iko wapi kazi mimi nilikaa Nairobi nikatafuta kazi <laughs> sikufanikiwa nikakuja huko si yeye pekee humu anayamini kwamba kazi ni kazi bora ina mshahara wa kuridhisha basi ni kazi bila kujali madhara yanayowafikia mwilini. Dikilio cha haki japo wako mbioni kusaka riziki lakini hapa ili kuwasaidia ni sharti serikali ingilie kati na kuokoa kizazi hiki kinachoangamia. Ikiwa ndio njia pekee ya kupata ajira na kukidhi maisha kina mama wa kijiji cha Osiri County ya Migori. Ni matumaini ya kina mama hao kuwa watapata njia mbadala kando na utumizi wa zebaki kuosha dhahabu inayowaathiri kiafya Angela Cheror K24 katika kaunti ya Migori